Hey guys, it is Wingy here and welcome to part two of my British comedy shows that you should watch. Nearly forgot what the title was there. So this series is basically me talking about different comedy shows from Britain that you guys need to check out if you haven't seen them already or you just want to see them again or you've never even heard of them. So I've already done part one to this series and people in the comments suggested a load of different things and I am going to talk about them. Some in this episode, some in future ones. But the first comedy show that we're going to get into today is Blackadder. Most people today would associate Rowan Atkinson with the role of Mr Bean. However, before he did that, he was in this show with Hugh Laurie and a few other people that you may recognise where he plays the title character of Blackadder. Now the funny thing about Blackadder is Rowan Atkinson and how he interacts interacts with other people. Blackadder himself as a character is very pompous and very sarcastic but also very witty at the same time. The way he interacts with a character such as Baldrick for example is some of the most hilarious moments in the show. I think one of the main things that really sets Blackadder apart from anything else is the fact that it can constantly reinvent itself. I believe there are four series of Blackadder and each one is set in a different time period. It never gets too modern though, I think the last series was set during World War One, and the ending of that surprisingly has a heartfelt punch. I'm not going to spoil it though, you need to see it. But unlike other great comedy series where it isn't necessarily the characters, it's the situations that they end up in, Blackadder is kind of the flip side of that. It is to do with the characters more than anything else. There are some ridiculous situations, don't get me wrong, but the characters really drive this forward. Also, for you Doctor Who fans out there, this man makes a cameo, and it is one of the best episodes with Tom Baker in it, I'm not going to lie. So, next up, we are sticking with the 1980s and going with Red Dwarf. I don't think it's surprising in the slightest that I like Red Dwarf. It's pretty much a sci-fi show, but it's a sitcom. There are four main characters and they are all just completely different from one another, yet they are on this little spaceship together. So that right there already leads to some interesting scenarios when the characters just bicker and don't get on or then they agree or then they don't. I think one of the main things that makes Red Dwarf so special is that it is a sci-fi show. There are a lot of elements in this show that are from various different elements across science fiction. There's episodes with a shape-shifting alien. There's episodes where they travel in time. There's episodes where they go into alternate realities. There's even an episode where they go into the real world where we live and meet the actors that play them. The series is going now and whilst it has dipped in quality, Red Dwarf is still entertaining and still funny now. It is a cult British show and the model work in it as well is incredible. If you've seen the model shot at the start of Trial of a Time Lord in Doctor Who, then you will know what sort of model work that you are going to get. It is kind of along those lines. But if you love sci-fi and you love comedy, you're bound to love Red Dwarf. So the last one that I'm going to talk about today is the youngest of the three in this episode and of the other one as well. And that is Peep Show. Now Peep Show to me is the most quintessentially British show I think I've ever seen. And I don't mean that in the sense of it's full of drinking cups of tea and there's British bulldogs and fish and chips and all that stuff. I mean in terms of the level of awkwardness that British people have. It is just summarised in this and emphasised to no end. It's about two flatmates, Mark and Jeremy, just going through day-to-day -day life, which sounds fairly mundane, but you have to see it to believe it. Some of the just outlandish situations that these two get themselves into is so awkward and so cringeworthy, yet so, so hilarious at the same time. For example, in one episode, they end up killing someone's dog and eating it out of awkwardness. Now that situation sounds utterly ridiculous and how the hell do you get into that? When you watch the episode, logically speaking, that situation actually somewhat makes sense. It's just how we English do things. Not eat dogs, I just mean get into the situations like that. Or maybe not quite like that, but still pretty bad situations such as that. Another really cool thing about Peep Show is the way that it's shot. The entire thing is filmed from point of view, so you see everything from all the different characters in the show. You are viewing it from their perspective. Mitchell and Webb, who were the stars of the show, said that it sounded like a good idea in practice, but it was actually really difficult to film like that. However, I'm glad they did because it actually gives Peep Show an edge. In terms of the way it's shot, there is nothing really like Peep Show in terms of a comedy that I am aware of anyway. But I think if you like cringy, awkward British humour, this is the show for you. But they're just some more of my choices. Let me know in the comments, do you agree with the choices in this video? What other ones do you think should be in this series? I mean, I've already got a few. I mean, Faulty Towers, yes, I'm going to talk about Faulty Towers and Monty Python as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe if you want to see more and if you would do any of those things, then I would love you forever. Oh, one last thing before I go. When this video goes up, I will be going away. I think on the day that this goes up, I will probably already be in Spain. 
So just in case you guys were wondering if there's a lack of videos, hopefully not because I am scheduling them, but just in case something goes wrong, it means that I'm away, not that I'm ignoring you guys or anything. So yeah, see you guys when I get back, although I will be doing more videos, hopefully. But anyway guys, you take care of yourselves and goodbye. <laughs>